72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the cage. My mind is living on cloud nine, and this night is never on vacation. Sound of their minds are riding in. Yo, what is up guys, Warcrux here. If you're watching this video, congratulations, you're playing one of the most fun BRs on the planet right now. It's such a fast-paced game, there's little to no camping, there's always action right where you go, there's so much mobility, there's so much diversity in this game, it's absolutely phenomenal, guys. So, a lot of you guys may be wondering, what's the best loadout? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, there, there's not a, uh, a meta loadout. But there's just not. I'm sure there's preferred weapons, but it's more or less your play style. And in this video, I'll be going over some of the different play styles and shit that I like to run uh, personally. So, first loadout we're going to go over. We're going to go over if you like using the protocol, you like maining this weapon. It's uh, one of the most OP weapons in the game. Once you get it fully maxed, it's a one shot kill to the head. That's all it takes. One lucky headshot. Now. If you're run the protocol, uh, it's very important for you to have high ground most of the time, and so you definitely want a mobility and some sort of defensive item. So the mobility, uh, I always go with slam because you can use it in a multitude of ways. You can use it to get away from people. You can use it to retake high ground. You can use it for some pretty nasty trick shots uh, if you're a big Call of Duty sniper like I am. So uh, slam is definitely a must. Now as far as your uh, your other Hack, uh, you can go with armor. Armor is super good. That's your oh shit button in case shotgunners sneak up on you or, you know, what have you. Or you're getting barraged by the Skybreaker magnet combo. Uh, but as far as the protocol, you definitely need a strong secondary. And I always go with the Harpy. It's a super, super low time to kill. The hip fire on it is very, very good. And if you're on controller, uh, hip firing is very important in this game because the, uh, the aim assist is absolutely massive. Because it really needs it. You see him this far away, it's still tracking him. Uh, pretty fucking well. An alternative is the hex fire. Uh, the hex fire, however, uh, does not have as great as hit fire spread. Uh, it may seem like it just reduce it still, but the, the time to kill in the hex fire is much lower than the harpy. Uh, if you're a big hit fire like I am, uh, definitely go with the harpy as your secondary. Now, aside from the uh, the sniper class. Uh, we'll go over uh, three other variants. Uh, so there's a ground and pound variant, and then there's the the TSM special. We'll go over the TSM special uh, last because it's probably the most scummy loadout I've ever seen. So the next loadout you want, uh, it doesn't matter what splash damage weapon you pick. Uh, we'll just do Skybreaker just for shits and giggles. Um, but for this one, again. The hacks are very important. They put a new hack in called uh, Magnetize, and it's uh, it's is very very fucking potent. So the ideal combo. I thought I had the max out one there. There we go. So the ideal combo. So you'll have your harpy out, whatever secondary you want. It doesn't matter what secondary you have. Is here's how you line up the combo out in the open. This works. So you can just spam Skybreaker across the map and it'll fuck kids up. But. Uh, the general combo, you'll have your secondary out. You'll want to slam, magnetize, boom. So you, you gotta do it a little bit quicker than I did. So you have your secondary out, slam, cancel, magnetize, boom. Uh, that's pretty much it. If there's a group of people that's gonna pull them all into the area, you're gonna have them all with Skybreaker, have them all half health. And then you just clean them up with your Harpy, uh, or Hexfire is really good with this. Uh, I would suggest actually Hexfire for this one, ideally, because uh, if you hit two or three people with this, a Harpy will be able to clean up one, maybe if you're lucky, possibly two. But the Hexfire, since you never have to reload this, you can go on and kill these three and just clean up all the kills. Um, that's the play style if you want to do the, uh, excuse me, if you want to do the, uh, kind of the splash method. It's entirely up to you. Now, uh, the next loadout I want to go over is, is, is kind of an apex loadout, to be honest with you guys. I really, really like the Riot one. This reminds me of the Wingman from Apex. And this thing is an absolute headshot monster. Uh, you can damn near two-tap people with this. It would be very overpowered if you could two-tap people. But uh, for the loadouts, I typically run with this. I run more of a kind of an apex Call of Duty style. Uh, I don't stay airborne too much. So uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll run... Uh, invulnerability, invulnerability. Excuse me, words are hard today. And then I'll run a heal. So the way I kind of play this loadout, and a mammoth shotgun. A mammoth shotgun's fucking dope. So the way I kind of play this loadout, 
is you play kind of medium range. You can play, you can play close range if you can hit your shots. Unlike me. This this dude's head bounces when you shoot him. It's kind of annoying. But uh, so you can't play medium range to close range for this. You just kind of stay on rooftops and just spam people. Uh, you can get away with that because you just top down your heel and you can literally just stay and two tap people from the top. Now, if you do get pressured, uh, the only drawback to this is you know people get up on you. You have to have something close range, so that's why you have invulnerability. Is again your oh shit button. I don't think any other hack is gonna kind of get you out of those situations when you're being pressured. And the good thing is, if they're up on you like that, you have a mammoth shotgun, which it can, it can once, well, almost once that, but um, it's good just to have a close range weapon. Now, this is gonna lead us into our next loadout. So if you like the right one, use that. D-Tap, you can do D-Tap Sniper as well. D-Tap Sniper is pretty good. Um, if you can't hit the headshots uh, very consistently. So, uh, you'll run the protocol, which is perfectly fine. And you can just go around body shotting people. So you're on the D-Tap, body shot people. And again, instead of the heal, I would definitely go with the slam for this one. So the time to kill is pretty good. You don't even have to aim for this one. So if you, so if you're in the air, say if you get your body shot, they're running away. You don't even have to fucking aim. Just not track them anyway. So protocol decap is really good, but you have to hit your shots. <laughs> if you hit your shots, the decap, uh, the time to kill in this thing is just way too low, especially if you're a kind of solo squatting or multiple people. So uh, it's really good cleanup weapon. For people using really high mobilities but uh last but definitely not least is probably the most scummy loadout i've i've seen so uh, so tsm myth uh, this is what they all ran through the beta uh so what you want to do is go grab you a mammoth shotgun maxed out if you have this maxed out it's it's fucking over so they'll, they'll run this and a d tap really fucking annoying so you'll go invis be sure you have your map without because any actions you do is gonna cancel it, and you just shoot. There, there's no like sombra animation like after you come out of invis like in Overwatch. Uh, you can shoot instantly. So if you're invis, you walk up on a group fighting, and they're just and then you have to clean them up or take your second shot. It's, it's very overpowered. Uh, not a lot of people run the recon perks, so invis is definitely a pretty viable option. Um, other honorable mentions that uh, you could run. Mine is pretty good if uh, you're just kind of baiting people into close quarters. Uh, my, the max out mine is actually really overpowered uh, if used correctly. Uh, the wall, I, I see a lot of people using the wall, but since you know, I'm, I'm a controller, it's really hard to use that wall correctly. Uh, I always misplace it and really fuck myself over. Um, other hacks, this ball is cool and shit, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, if you're if you're a shotgun in class, teleport is also a good alternative to slam. I just really like slam. I like playing high ground. Uh, those close quarter fives, if you're on controller, I'm not gonna lie to you, fellas. PC, it's it, it it's it's hard to contest a mouse and keyboard player in this game. It's very very difficult, but it can be done. Um, shockwave. There's some niche plays you can use with shockwave, but uh, overall. I really wouldn't worry too much about it. So, long story short, what do I usually run? Uh, I usually run the armor with a heal or a slam, wherever the hell slam is. The slam, slam's fucking amazing. Uh, and then run the protocol and some sort of hit scan weapon. That's just my play style, guys. Entirely up to you. Uh, other weapons, I, as far as shit, I don't want to use the kimonos. Kind of ass, to be honest. Since the nurse, since beta, I played around with the dragonfly, but it just feels like the recoil from shot to shot is uh, too much for me, too inconsistent. The ripper is also very, very good, um, but it does have lower time to kill than the harpy if you can hit your shots, and that pretty much does it for. Uh, kind of loadout guys. Uh, sorry, this isn't the the best, most meta loadout because you know, like I said, it all really depends on your play style. Uh, more of a passive player than, you know, hell, you can do passive sniping. You know, just run uh, heals and uh, heals and shield, and just stay at rooftops and sniping people. You know, it's really really effective. But uh, try to get this video as short as possible. 
hope this is very very helpful for you guys if you want to see contents of this i do stream damn near every day so just please like the channel you don't have to like it dislike it if you want just hit the notification bell subscribe just so you can see when i'm live you can see all these different builds in action um so yeah this has been horcrux you guys have a good day deuces